What is going on guys? My name is Ron Beck again from Ron Reviews here with another episode reaction to ReZero episode 42, A Journey Through Memories. Now, I unfortunately been spoiled a little bit as to what's going to be happening in this episode and when I say spoil it I mean as in I don't I know that this is not going to be the actual trial this main focus it's going to be more of a flashback type episode that's about mostly what all I know about of this actual episode um and one thing I'd like to point out I also have seen Frozen Bonds the OVA uh actually a little bit after I watched the new episode of ReZero and I was told that that's actually a really good idea to do that simply because a lot of stuff is going to probably would have flown over my head if I hadn't watched it. So I am really glad that I had watched it. I didn't record my reaction to it because I was watching it with my roommate. Me and him had never seen it, so we decided to watch it and definitely showing a lot of stuff about Amelia that I we didn't know about. Um, and it definitely increased her character as a whole significantly. Her and Puck, especially Puck, um, and I am curious about the whole Puck situation with how, why is he in another stone? Did he form a contract with Subaru, or what's the whole situation? I'm, I, we're not going to get any episode, I don't think we're going to get any information on that on this episode. I feel like that's going to be a little later on down the line, uh, but from what I have been told, this is a recap, and a, not a recap, but a uh, um, backstory, uh, flashback episode and perfectly fine with that but yeah i'm ready to jump into this episode reaction so guys without further ado let's jump in to season two episode 42 of re-zero starting in three two one let's jam right off back when it was the frozen Mon. That's Puck. I'm actually, I'm so glad I watched Frozen Bonds because I remember this exact scene. Beautiful opening. Very high in spirits. Oh yeah, and Akinda was not happy seeing her. I think this is the first time I've seen her fight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but now that she has her memories back... So this is going to be like episode, what, what was it, four of the season? Mm. 
her mom. I'm telling you, man. Girls with short hair. Mm. <laughs> yes. Looks like she's been with... Damn. Her mom's a looker, if that's the mom. Mm. Okay, just her aunt. Well, her aunt's a looker. There you go. <laughs> Is that like paint? Oh, so she could actually interact with spirits at this time. Don't go. My guess, her being out here is going to be a catalyst of what it, what happens. Because I know she gets... That's the witch's cult. I know that hair anywhere. Okay, I'm... What happened to you? It's weird. There's so many questions. So are is this before they became? You can't see her. Is this before they became crazy and cultish? 
So he's just a bishop, not even arch. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like I need to rewatch the first season with just some scenes with battle keys. I agree. Is this spear gonna clean her? There's so much like backstory going on. Sorry I'm not talking too much, like I'm just really focused about this. So was that fairy that entire time? Was that fairy puck? The parents. That too. Yeah, I have a feeling she's going to cause us. Uh, nuts. That's what she always used to eat when uh back in the OVA. So I wonder if they lock her up when they come over. <laughs> Who said I was making a joke?
Interesting. Just so interesting, this whole thing. <laughs> Conscientious. Mother and father? I'm guessing the pharaoh was like, hey, you want me to show you what the seal is? Now it's back into the like the winter. The, the frozen. The frozen forest. Let me guess, she interacted with the seal, which caused the the place to become a frozen forest. Because it's all frozen around it, I'm assuming you get rid of that seal, right? <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah, that was another thing. Like, um, Garf didn't see him kiss her. He saw the love letters because he went in and saw the, uh, took the trial. <laughs> That's true, it really is. Because of how, ups how much it was. <laughs> no. She's also looking into it more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, why is she like, I was wondering why they were walking weird. Yeah, I'm assuming just like a door door. I wonder if that door is still there. I'm assuming she's about to pop out. Like, what are you doing over here? Maybe she's not the catalyst. It's kind of creepy. He doesn't recognize that first. And like, oh, you're Amelia.
I'm guessing he's seen her as Satella. Does Amelia cause him to become the way he is? Uh. I mean, this is definitely not the same. This is definitely not the same battle gears that we know. That's also another thing, like, I could easily see why, um, Akina is mad. He, de he, he desecrated her grave. <laughs> the warm-up round. seems awfully calm about this. Hmm. Cause like she was even saying like you can't you're not you're, you're not meant to see her. No, at least not yet. I need to rewatch the first season scenes with him. the seal mm. okay that makes sense of why she was she puts trust so high up I wonder if she's one of the statues that are frozen. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, just yeah, they don't. Maybe she doesn't know that she can um, communicate with them. And they're fucking strong. So it's so weird seeing him like that. So she has a thing for juice. Interesting. Lifespan as long as mine. And elves are known to live long. And he even dwarves elves. Are they already dead? <laughs> okay, that was cute as fuck. Definitely a purely of a, a purely a setup episode. Also, is this a new ending? New ED? And so weird. Is that one of the art the archbishops? In the very first episode of the second season? It is. Well, I forgot his name. I've only seen him one time. He's the guy who fucking cut off Crucia's arm.
So the witch's cult. So those robes. Those robes were not indicative to the witch's cult, but maybe those particular robes was of Betelgeese's troop? Huh. Because I, I did wonder that, because like when we did see him and the Archbishop of Gluttony, they weren't ma wearing the matching thing, so uh, maybe it was just his troop doing this. Interesting. So. Got it. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's what happened. Here's what happens. He beats Betelgeese and eats his memories. Not eats his existence. No, 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 no. That, that means the other guy would have to be there too. Okay. If that's the case, that that's my... Okay, so the other one's going to show up. Um, he's... And the Archbishop of, Slaw, of Gluttony ate his memories. And then he was like, oh, no, 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 no. You actually are working with us. The entire time you just forgot. Blah, blah, blah. That's my guess. Because, of course, it, it wasn't... He didn't lose his um, thing. But... Fortuna. Really curious as to see what's going to happen. It's a lot. Next episode's gonna be a banger. This was another half an hour episode. Holy shit! Uh, I'm I will I have to give props to the uh, the the production studio um, behind this. Absolutely, they've been. You can tell they really like this show. Where there has been no intro or ending for the last few episodes, and it's just been chock full of content, and absolutely love it. Um, Thank you, White Fox, so much. You've been doing God's work, and I have absolutely nothing but praise for you guys and and my gratitude. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm really looking forward to next episode. Uh, but yeah, but catch me tomorrow for Promise Neverland season two and Quintessential Quintuplets season two. Look forward to that. Uh, and actually, next week I'm going to have a lot. I'm going to have time off. I finally have some time off. I've been really needing it. I haven't had time off since last year. Um, and I might know that it might not seem like, but last year in April, that was the last time I actually had some actual time off, uh, that wasn't just like my normal days off or an extended, like, Hey, you get two days off in a row, which is not very common. So it's, I'm going to be taking that time to rel relax a lot and I'm going to be streaming, uh, probably putting up some videos. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but it's definitely going to be more of a, just get back on track with my mental, um, health and, uh, my physical health, because <laughs> both have been deteriorating quite lately. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below, or if there's anything I missed. Again, I do apologize for being pretty quiet, but there was a lot to unpack in this episode. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.